15 Things Not to Do in Nepal Despite being a landlocked country in the southern region of the Asian continent, Nepal has a varied landscape, comprising portions of the Indo-Gangetic Plain as well as the mountain ranges of the Himalayas, and subalpine forests, stilted on hills. You must visit this quaint paradise to get a taste of its cuisines and peculiar style of art, architecture, and other crafts. But, when traveling to Nepal, there are certain things you must keep in mind. There are a few things not to do in Nepal in order to make sure you stay in harmony with their culture and taboos. Number 1. Do not mess with the yaks. You are bound to come across several yaks acting as caravans for locals in the alpine regions. These yaks are also called boss grunians. Make sure to steer clear of their paths as they can be rather hostile at the slightest hint of intimidation. This can be attributed to them having weak hearing and visual abilities. They more than make up for that with a weight of 400 kilograms, heavy and strong enough to take on even bigger animals than themselves. So if you come across some yaks on your way, step aside and let them pass by. Number 2. Don't wander anywhere. Stay clear of any places that you have been asked not to wander to by guides, or articles that suggest you to not do so, on the internet. There is a tourist area known as Tamil in the capital city of Kathmandu, in Nepal. The place has all that you need such as restaurants, hotels, and so on. There is a specific region in Kathmandu called the Black Magic Market where foreign tourists have been advised not to go as it can result in severe repercussions, which could end up spoiling the mood for your entire trip. Number 3, do not walk into a temple with shoes on. Always take off your shoes when entering a temple, whether it is a Hindu temple, or a Buddhist one. You will notice that everyone walks barefoot in those. This is to show respect to the deities. Also, never touch a monk, especially a monk's head and do not touch other people's offerings to God. Also, never sit with your feet pointing towards a temple, or the statue of a deity. Avoid using your finger to point at a statue or a shrine. Number 4, don't leave your hotel details behind. Kathmandu, the capital city of Nepal is a very dense city filled with people, and it can be very tough for foreign visitors to navigate the streets of this city. Therefore, to ensure you don't get lost always carry the address, and the phone number of the hotel where you are going to spend the night. If you are in a town avoid steering into places with no network. In cities, you can always give details about the hotel's address to the taxi drivers, who can drop you safely at the hotel. Number 5, do not let the germs die. If you are going to trek any of the mountains in the Himalayan range, that is one place where germs are going to come handy, believe it or not. Your stomach bacteria are incredibly essential for digesting your food and utilizing its nutrients for energy. As you climb higher altitudes, the dearth of oxygen leads to a decrease in the stomach bacteria, as they die because of this lack. This can lead to severe disorders and make your trek a difficult one. Himalayan mountains are hard enough to climb as it is, doing so without adequate energy is going to be even tougher. So carry probiotics for you to consume as you exceed 500 meters of altitude. Number 6. Do not carry equipment by fake labels. Another important thing to not do is to be tempted by cheap prices and as a result, carry or use defective equipment, or gear when going to treks through the mountains of the Himalayan ranges. Along with carrying probiotics, it is also incredibly important to carry with you. May it be trekking shoes, walking sticks, sweaters, wind cheaters, thermals, etc. Do not be fooled by cheap prices, instead buy products by certified brands and labels. The defective products may look exactly like the original ones, but these ultimately prove their worth, when they fail the test of austere weather and terrain conditions. Number 7, do not forget to take vaccines and medicines. The World Health Organization, WHO, 
has suggested that travelers take vaccines for hepatitis A and B, rubella, typhoid fever, and diphtheria. Nepal is a country that is not on the list which includes countries that have made vaccinations mandatory. So chances are high you might be prone to diseases as the ones mentioned above. Also, the pharmacies in Nepal do not sell most of the medicines available. So, make sure to carry your own prescribed medicines to avoid any troubles later on. Number 8, Don't Buy Knives, They Can Be Considered Cold Weapons. The famous Kukri curved knife is still part of the Nepalese army weapons, it's almost 40 centimeters, 15 inches, long, and 600 gram weighs. Many tourists are happy to buy such a souvenir to show off to their friends and relatives. But it's risky. Exporting a knife from Nepal won't be a problem in most cases, however, you may get in trouble once landed in your country. Number 9, Avoid Leather Belts Around Religious Places One of the things that people avoid while going to the temple is wearing leather belts, jackets and leather items. You can wear leather belts and shoes at other places, but you should strictly leave behind leather belts, and other leather products like shoes, purses, etc. around the temple area. Most of the temples have notices outside of the temple written no leather belts allowed. If you see such notice, you can kindly take out the leather belt you're wearing, and hand it to the nearby person who looks after those stuff outside the temple. Number 10. Do not eat beef. Nepalese people are fond of meat dishes, but beef is strictly prohibited in Nepal. Nepalese worship the cow as a god and the cow is also the national animal of Nepal. Eating beef violates the Nepalese value, and it hurts their sentiments. If you are a meat lover, then you can eat chicken meat, buffalo meat, mutton, pork, duck meat, fish, but do not expect Nepalese restaurants to serve beef. Number 11, avoid photographs in prohibited places. Temples are usually prohibited places for taking pictures. You can find notices outside of the temples that say taking pictures is not allowed at some temples. At such temples, do not take out your camera lens, and do not take pictures of the god statue. Though you can take pictures of the temple's architecture from outside, you cannot click pictures of god's statue. It is strictly prohibited. Number 12, don't hire bikes or cars. Bikes are almost the main transport in Kathmandu and its amount on the Nepalese streets is comparable, probably, only with Beijing. Side traffic in Nepal is left-handed, which complicates European and American tourists. Therefore, it is unlikely that you will feel comfortable with this automobile chaos. Take a taxi, it is excellent at transporting passengers. Number 13, do not drink fresh juice on streets and unboiled water. You should already know that it's no good to drink unboiled water, consider also fresh juice from street shops in Nepal. It's not only about stomach indigestion, the consequences could be even more complicated. It's not recommended to drink from mountain rivers and creeks in Nepal also, even if you know that cattle do not grass upstream, and the water is clean, it's too chilly, and it is easy to get cold and sick. And it's not what you expect from your vacation, especially with high altitude. Number 14, do not consume street foods without knowing them. Be careful of what you eat when you are in Nepal. The Nepali cuisines are generally spicy, which is distinct from Western foods. If you are not a fan of spicy foods, then you should be careful of mainly street foods. If you are fond of spices then, you will love street foods, but if not, without knowing the ingredients of the dish, do not unknowingly eat them. So, have some information about the food beforehand or ask the vendor to put spices according to your preference. In this way, you can manage the spices and enjoy the street foods. Number 15, Solo Trekking. Solo trekking is a popular activity in Nepal but, there are several dos and don'ts in solo trekking in Nepal. 
Since you are not traveling in a group, hire a guide for solo trekking. Do not walk alone in the woods, as it can be dangerous. You are not familiar with the geography and the trekking trails. You may encounter unexpected problems during your journey, so do not walk alone to your trekking destinations, mainly if it is through forests and isolated areas. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel.